So we see this all the time in crypto. We see money shuffle around. We see it move from one project to the other. And everybody's chasing what's hot. Everybody's chasing the trend, trying to chase those 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe even 100% gains, right? And once they get them, they take it out and they look for the next gem. That's what we've been seeing, honestly, all of 2023. It's the same money being recycled. A lot of people got out of NFTs and they're jumping into the meme coin market. In fact, that's exactly what happened with Pepe. If you really dive deep into the, the, the huge run that Pepe coin had, and you look at some of the people that they targeted and some of the people that got into Pepe, some of the whales, a lot of them were NFT snobs. And a lot of them were down on their NFT investment and they were trying to rekindle some of those losses. So they cut their losses in NFTs. The NFT market has plummeted. And they found Pepe or they found Bob or they found another meme coin that has popped here in 2023, especially last, uh, especially the last few months. Going back to May is when we really had that big blow off top when Pepe got listed to Binance and the craziness. Well, now what we're seeing, at least what we're seeing a little bit here happen is Pepe coin investors are switching to Dogecoin. What's driving the trend? Well, I don't even have to read this whole article to you. I'll tell you what's driving the trend. It's Elon Musk. It's the new platform X. It's the speculative nature that now Dogecoin has as being something worth holding, right? Something worth having in your portfolio. So you're seeing a lot of people who are in Pepe are in the green, right? So what these investors are thinking, I'm taking you inside these the minds of these investors. They're thinking, okay, let me take some money that I found. It, this is found money. This is found money. I'm up in my investment. And while Pepe's consolidating, maybe I can get a Dogecoin pop to 14 or 15 cents in the meantime, right? We're trading just below 8 cents right now, at least a, a last check. Let me, let me actually take a look at that. Yeah. Dogecoin, yeah, sitting just under 8 cents right now, right? But the sentiment for Dogecoin is much different than Pepe right now. It's very bullish. We have a lot of things happening, not only from a technical perspective, but the outside chance that Elon at any moment on any day can basically say, hey, we're going to be utilizing Dogecoin for payments on the platform X, and it's going to be used this, this, and this way. Boom. We could have a Dogecoin spike to 15 cents, 20 cents on that news. So that is why people are shifting. That is why people are always looking to play the next move right? So the Pepe price has tumbled by more than 45% from its monthly peak recorded on July 3rd. On-chain data hints that investors are dumping Pepe for Doge, and this could hamper the chances of an early price recovery. Now, Pepe did stage a nice comeback in late June, as you guys know, and they delivered an unimpressive performance in recent weeks, but a lot of this money has just been recycled. Again, Pepe network activity decline coincided with Dogecoin rally. A lot of this money is being shifted over into Doge. Keep in mind, Shiba Inu has a big event coming up next month with Shibarium. Be ready because money will start shifting, in my opinion, into SHIB. We're a little bit early right now. We're weeks away from Shibarium. But as that hype starts to build, look out for Bone and Leash and SHIB and those ecosystem plays. We'll see more money come from other places back into those type of investments in order to get those gains in the short term. Now, does this mean Pepe coin is dead? Absolutely not. I don't think Pepe's done. We've talked about the reasons why. My most recent video on Pepe gave you three reasons why Pepe coin is not dead. Check that one out on the channel. Just do three reasons why Pepe coin's not dead. You'll find my video. The main reason though, it's volume. The volume's still there, right? Yes, some money has left Pepe, but it's only for the short term, right? People will come back in once there's more bullish sentiment, once there's a bullish catalyst that's brewing for Pepe. This is how the markets work, especially in bear markets where people just can't throw darts at everything and hit winners. They're going to shuffle that money around. They're going to find some gains here. Get out. Take that gain. Put it in here. Try to find some gains over here. Get it out. And they're jumping ship all the time to get that 20, 30, 40, 50% move. That's just how the market works. So it's not a reason to freak out if you're a Pepe coin investor. If you still believe in the project long-term, then you still believe in it long-term. You don't have to go chasing. But if you are more of a trader, or at least you want to shift your mindset a little bit in these type of markets, play the narrative. See what people are doing. Yes, money is shuffling over into Dogecoin. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, 
I went ahead and bought some Dogecoin recently. I did not have any in my portfolio. I bought a little bit on the recent dip down to about that 7.5 range. I want to see what happens here because if any day we get a little pop, I'm looking to do the same thing. I want that 50, 60% move. I'll take my profits and I'll mark it as a win, right? That's how the crypto market is right now. That's how the game's played. Appreciate you guys so much. Let me know what you think about this down below. Also, shout out to Corium. Corium, uh, this is another layer one blockchain. I'm working with a lot of layer one blockchains, which pumped about. Uh, but yeah, Corium recently just had some unbelievable news drop. Uh, so this right here, uh, I can show you. Let me move this over. There we go. Uh, introducing the Corium Wave 2 guarantees. They have strategically chosen uh, from a ton of different technological fields, and they're choosing a bunch of projects that will bring Corium's potential to new heights. And here are some of those projects. Shout out to this team. They have just been phenomenal to work with. There's some of the projects they're working with now. Amazing, amazing team. And uh, man, this is an enterprise-grade blockchain, guys, looking to bridge the gap from Web 2 to Web 3. Excited to be working with them. Shout out to them. I'm going to drop Corium's links down below. Give them a look. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.